Hi guys, uh, we have had a request or two which uh, pointed out that I did not do the interior doors part of one of the earlier handouts. I must admit I, I thought the notes may have been sufficient but since so many people seem to find the videos are of value I'm happy to create a little short one to go through those little pages. So I think it's in page 38 of the uh, module handout I gave to you. I think it might be number six, the windows and doors one. And uh, if we look at that, you know, it asks you to go into the door tool. And normally you can just, if it's uh, selected, you can click up here to get at the settings, or you can double click on the door tool itself. And we'll get some door default settings. Now, you know, if you look at the libraries, uh, you may have to go back and look at the embedded library. So you, to see what I've got here, you may have to click a few of these. So because I'd used a different library part uh, as a kind of rehearsal. So here's the ArchiCAD library. And I think in the CAD Image Tools library, which hopefully you will have installed CAD Image Tools on your machines at home. If you don't see this little CAD Image Tools icon and drop down menu, you haven't done it correctly and we'll have to try and help you with that. So if I click this Academy's door and you'll see in the dialog box, uh, which we've got here, it's set at 850, whereas in our uh, notes it says 760. And that would refer to the overall kind of structural opening without, you know, not the leaf width with frames. It's just the opening in the wall. So what we've got is 760 by 2025, and they ask us to check that the sill to wall base is zero. Um, in terms then of what we've got to do, you have to go into, if you can't see it, you may have to click this little arrow to get the uh, pull down menu or expand this to see the Academy's door settings, and they ask us to go to door type. Now these are just simple uh, you know, interior doors. So it says here, single swing, leaf width uh, is 710. And we've got one leaf and on the right it's zero. And I believe that's all it wants us to try and uh, indicate. So I think we should just press okay. And then we can check which side we want to put it in by. I mean, I think you can choose it uh, maybe up here as well, perhaps um, which side, yeah, just along here. But I think maybe going by the book, we'll just go by the top um, and see that's the center. And what they're asking us to do is to go to this one, which they call side one. And I'm just going to zoom right in, <coughs> excuse me, to this corner. And I'm just going to place my cursor here. And I tend to go X 50 minus. I mean, I know the book mentions just gesturing to the left and typing 50. Either one should work, but I'm going to press enter. <coughs> now in the book, it talks about four different orientations of swings. So the first click was to place the door on the wall. I'm not sure if it really makes any difference what side, to be honest. Um, so I'm just going to click up here uh, to make sure the swing looks like it does in the booklet. Now then it asks us to put a couple more doors in. So I think it says place the door into bedroom two, but we have to change the width to 810. Now you probably could have done this up here as well, but we'll just go the kind of manual way of setting it up. So say place, uh, and we're going to make it side uh, segment again, a placement, same one as we had before, which is this one on the, here. Just leave the sill to wall base. And I'm just going to zoom in on this one and go to that corner and say X 50 minus. Click enter again. And uh, we'll just pick whatever orientation. Look, you can put any other side. I wouldn't have it coming into the corridor, but if you want to do it that way, it's okay for practice. And then uh, they want us to put one in the center in here. So the only difference we have here is to go to the center anchor point and then click here. We should pick up this little black line and then just have it going into the bedroom. Okay. Now you might wonder why 
you don't see any numbers in your doors like uh, window and door reference markers but if you look down at the bottom this is a little model view options thing which we can kind of change temporarily down here and I'm just going to do that to illustrate it to you and we say building plans markers you can see all this information appears now we do not need any of this information for this 5044 course so we will definitely not be using that and any plans that we do we will have this permanently set to no markers okay now the last door they chat about is an empty opening so I'm going to go to the door tool again double click and up here I'm just going to type empty and let Archicad hopefully find this first and there is an empty opening I'm going to double double click it uh, where is my empty opening uh, was there this one double click that and they say that it should be really already set to a thousand by 200 and that's what seems to happen and I think we want it to be in the door in the hall of our little batch which is a center point so I'm just going to go along and check that that's been done and it has I'm going to click and we can just go to this wall and I pick up that little line again it doesn't matter what way we click left or right because it's just an empty opening again you can t you know you can see we haven't got any markers because we don't want any but uh, I mean the other thing that Archicad mentions to finish off is that you can select any door and up here I think you can click and say use an empty opening and that's another way of doing it if, you know, so you could put in a standard door and just change it so um, I think that's enough to keep us going in terms of the doors so hopefully you'll find this of use and I'll put up some more videos uh, later and notify you. Thank you.